Hello guys, good morning to everyone. It's me, Thales. You're watching my channel dedicated to English language. Well, as you know, I cover from basic to advanced and this is an intermediate advanced video, which means all explanations given will be in English only. But if you want to, there is also another playlist dedicated to beginners. So if you are a beginner, it's your first time with the language, I highly recommend that you watch my basic playlist. The basic playlist has explanations in Portuguese and it's very easy to follow as this playlist as well. Before we begin, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as I upload videos almost daily and give a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Well, uh, in the last video, we were studying the relative clauses, right? Who, which, and that. And we will continue studying these relative causes, clauses for the next few videos from that playlist. Remember, I have more than 400 uh, videos already available for you and there is much content to be recorded, there is much content to come. Before, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Yes, today I, I took a new pen just by precaution, uh, as a precaution measure. My last pen is already over, I had to trash it. Well, the relative clauses, you know, who, which, and that, okay? We studied these three relative clauses. I guess I will use another color pen. Um, who is used for people, which is used for objects, and that can be used for both. Let's see some more examples, right, and understand what's going on, okay? Where is the cake that was in the refrigerator? Okay? So I want to know what happened to the cake that was in the refrigerator. Maybe someone ate it. I love to eat cakes, right? Especially birthday cakes. Yes, when you, you come back from a birthday party and put a piece of cake in the refrigerator the next day to eat. Mm, it's delicious. It's wonderful. <laughs> well, um... Let's understand, that was in the refrigerator. We use that because we are talking about cake. Cake is not a person, right? But we can use, we can replace it by which. Which is used only for objects and animals in some sort. And who is used only for people. When you say that was in the refrigerator, it is the same of saying that the cake was in the refrigerator. You can say that the cake is the subject of the sentence, okay? So, the relative clause that works as a subject of the sentence, okay? So, that is a relative clause, a part of the relative clause. Clause, yes. It's part of the relative clause and it works as a subject. Um, yeah, so you have to use the relative clause here. You can say, where is the cake 
was in the refrigerator. No, it's wrong. If you make the sentence, if you make the question without using a relative clause, the sentence is wrong. It's necessary to use a relative clause here because the relative clause or uh, the subject of the relative clause is either that or which. So that or which here works as the subject of the relative clause. If you omit it, the sentence is wrong. Okay, you can't say where is the cake was in the refrigerator. In some cases, the relative clause can also work as an object. Um, let's see. I haven't found the key that I lost. Okay? I haven't found the key that I lost. So I lost my key and I don't know where I put it. Okay? That is the beginning of the relative clause that I lost is a relative clause and I haven't found the key. The key what? That is the object. That is the object. And what, why is that? Because I lost the keys. I lost the key. When you say, I lost the key, I is the subject, lost is the verb, right? Lost is the simple past of the verb lose, and it's an irregular verb, right? Regular verbs, on the other hand, you add ed in the end of the verb, right? It's a suffix, but here... I lost the key, I is the subject, lost is the verb in the key, right? Uh, lost the key, the key is the object of the sentence. So when I say, I haven't found the key that I lost, it's the same of saying, I lost that, okay? I lost that, that is the object of the sentence. But, remember... Uh, let's compare, actually. Let's compare. Here, when you say, where is the cake that was in the refrigerator? That or which works as a subject. And you can't omit, you can't omit that. If you say, where is the cake was in the refrigerator? The sentence is wrong. But, on the other hand, when that or which here works as an object, you can omit. You can say, I haven't found the key I lost. It's correct. Okay? So, summarizing, when, which, who, or that works as a subject, you can't omit. You can't cross out it, uh, you can't cross it out from the sentence, but when it works as an object, it means that you can omit, okay? As an object here, I lost that, that is the object, and you can omit. You can say, I haven't found the key I lost. Let's see some more, uh, more examples of it. We will see, don't worry. <laughs> Let's see some more examples. The PlayStation 5 I bought has just arrived. For example, here you don't have uh, who, which, or that. But if you use, which one would you use? Who, which, or that? You can use the PlayStation 5 
which I bought, the PlayStation 5 that I bought. It's possible to use either which or that. Here, I'm omitting it. In the example, I'm not using which or that. Is it correct? Yes, that's correct. Why is that? Because which or that works as an object. The PlayStation 5 that I bought, play, pay attention here. The PlayStation 5 that I bought has just arrived. I bought that. That works as an object of the sentence. Okay? So, when that works as an object or which works as an object, you can omit. Let's see one example using who, right? Is there anything he can do for you? Is there anything he can do for you? Or you can write, is there anything that he can do for you? Or is there anything which he can do for you? Yeah, I know it's weird, but it's possible. Um, let's see. Is there anything he can do for you? Or is there anything that or which he can do for you? You can omit yes or no. Yes, you can omit. You can leave it out, right? You can leave it out. Why is that? Because when you say that he can do for you, it's the same of saying he can do that. He can do that. So that here works as an object and you can omit. You can leave it out. Omit or leave it out. You can omit or leave it out that it's also correct, okay? Um, the house I bought. I bought the house, right? House here is the object. So, you can say the house I bought or the house that I bought or the house which I bought. Both are, are correct because the house here works as an object. Okay, people, I hope you enjoyed my video. Next video, we will continue with studying relative clauses and the role of prepositions as well, right? So, see you next time. Have a nice and enjoyable day.